Hey everyone, Dave from Modify here again. This time we're going to look at this absolutely mega colliding liquid mercury motion effect in Modify. Not easy to say, with special focus on two of our amazingly powerful, non destructive, and totally free modifiers shrink wrap and mosaic. Let's go. So as part of the main project, we're going to use the shrink wrap modifier, and we thought it'd be really useful just to see the shrink wrap modifier in isolation, to see how it works a little bit. So we've got an image here of some sand dunes, and then I'm going to add this shrink wrap modifier to it. I press Command Shift K to open and close this drawer here, and then I can preview any of these modifiers just by hovering. We're going to focus on the shrink wrap modifier here. So I'm going to add that in, and then that means that anything below it is going to be affected by this modifier. So if I just bring up this luma height here, you can see what's happening. We called this the shrink wrap modifier because it is like a modifier wrapping a material over the top of your image. So you can see in very, very few steps here, it's like I've wrapped this iridescent crystal effect over the top of those sand dunes. So um, we can play with luma height and then the smoothness here if we want a little bit more detail in it. We also have loads of materials if you want to go through them. Um, my personal favorite is this orange peel here. If we put the smoothness up, and I'm just gonna alter the size of the image underneath, place this in the middle. Um, you can really make this sort of uh, vacuum uh, molding effect very, very easily, depending on how much detail you want. Look, you can go into I like it when it's a bit smoother and shinier. Again, make it really exaggerated contours. With everything in Modify, you've still got access to those layer blend modes. And then when you really start playing with these, the visual effects are really quite amazing. I love this hard light here, mixing the, t the modifier with the sand dunes underneath. Kind of looks like a plasticky uh, Grand Canyon or something, doesn't it? Uh, I'm going to set this back to normal and then set this back to iridescent bubble. I'm also going to change the alpha type here to clip to relief so we can see a little bit clearer of what's happening. And then just to demonstrate again that everything in Modify is completely non-destructive with these modifiers, if I add a pen stroke underneath here, set the size to be larger and alter the hardness, I'm just going to place a pen stroke under here curve it's like you can see that this absolutely real time is all affected by the modifier above it I'm going to put another pen stroke over here there we go and then I still have all of this access to be able to alter the smoothness of what's happening in the modifier and the luma height if I wish I can even go back and change these vectors under here so if I wanted to change this vector path a little bit, I can do that. I can change the size of the stroke. Let's just alter this hardness a bit, see if we can get a little bit more. That's nice. Bring this inside a little bit. So this is this is just to demonstrate that you know we have full flexibility and non-destructivity in the way that these modifiers work. And uh, this shrink wrap modifier is the one that we're going to take forward, combine it with the mosaic modifier in the AB project that we showed you earlier. So let's jump into that and have a look. Here we are in the main project that we're going to reproduce. And just like before, it's worth just having a very quick run through each entity in the tree here to see what's doing what. At the very top, we've got an exposure modifier. If I turn that on and off, you can just see that adds a tiny bit of brightness back into the project. Not doing much at all, let's just turn that off. Then we have this awesome 2D shadow modifier that's producing these shadows. I can move the light source around here if I wanted to change how that looks. There's a great YouTube tutorial on this, so please check it out. I'm gonna turn that off. Then we have the shrink wrap modifier that we talked about earlier. That's set to chromium metal with a mid-level of smoothness in there. Now, the real magic in this project is really coming from the mosaic modifier that's uh, situated underneath the shrink wrap modifier. And that's producing these great uh, luma areas for the shrink wrap material to be wrapped around. 
so you can see a little bit about a little bit clearer what's happening if I turn this warp mode off here and then set this to hexagons and remove this inset you can see oh, I have to bring this rounding down as well we're starting to get a hexagon shape a bit more of a traditional mosaic and you can see if I turn back on the shrink wrap modifier above this now we've got uh, this metal material wrapped around hexagons and again I can go back to the mosaic modifier and make the hexagons larger or smaller I could change the shape of them if I want to make round uh, sort of ball bearing look there we go that's quite nice um, again so the mosaic modifier creating luma for the shrimp wrap modifier to wrap around and produce this metal effect. I'm just going to undo that slightly so that I can go back to where we were. There we go. Um, so that's the mosaic modifier. If I turn that off, underneath it all, a very simple text animation on the letters A and B. And if I just come over and look at the motion effects here, there's a motion effect acting on the rotation of the letters and then a motion effect acting on the Y position of the letters. So let's just simplify things, turn off this rotation. So we just have this Y axis animation happening here. And then how we've made the letters bash into each other is by setting the layout to letters and then uh, providing an offset, an element time offset of around a second here. So again, if I bring this down, if I just take this to zero, you'll see that the letters move in unison up and down that Y axis. And then by gradually increasing this, we can make one letter move down as one letter moves up. We're offsetting the animation on each letter and that's how they bash into each other. I think this was set to somewhere around one second. So you can see how we can take this very simple animation I'm going to turn back on the mosaic modifier over the top of that to create that luma. We're then going to use the shrink wrap modifier to wrap that luma in a metallic material. 2D shadow to provide some effect and then a little bit of brightness with exposure. I'm now going to go right back to the simple AB text and build this back up so you can see in more detail how it's done. Great, so here we are in the starting point of the project and the first thing I'm going to do is select the AB here from the layers tree and then I'm going to press Command Shift K to open the modifier browser again. Again, all of these are real-time previewable. I can hover over them and real-time will see. And the one that we were going to use uh, first of all is this mosaic. So again, I can see that kicking immediately as soon as I hover, I'm going to click to add and then close that tray there. We can see now we've added the mosaic above the AB. We can see that it's uh, immediately set to a hexagon tile style. So for this, we're actually going to use rounded triangles. So I'm going to select here again, everything updates in real time as I go through them all, but we're going to select triangle. And then we're going to bring up that rounding to somewhere around here. And you can see we've created that little sort of uh, ball bearing like uh, shape there that we can put the shrink wrap over later. I'm going to bring up the tile width slightly. And then the inset here, if I bring this up, this will place uh, the gap between the tiles much larger. So let's bring this up to somewhere around here. And then right. Now, um, a lot of the effect of this comes from this Luma mode. So I'm going to now set this to warp. And what that means, where there is brightness and luma in the input to this, it's going to warp. And the larger the brightness, the larger the luma, the more the warp will appear. So I'm going to set this to warp here. OK, and then bring this average color down. I'm just going to tweak a few settings here and perfect it a little bit. I'll speed this part up. Okay, great. You can see now we've changed that AB into these little dots that are warping and uh, looking really nice. So let's now put that shrink wrap over the top of the mosaic 
and then get this uh, sort of metallic material going on. So again, with mosaic selected, I can hit Command Shift K. And then I'm going to go immediately to the shrink wrap modifier. And you can see that we've created this kind of, again, ball, ball bearing effect with this. Click that, that will place it above the mosaic, which means that you know we've got this AB going through the mosaic being turned into the rounded, uh, white warped dots that we see. And then now there's a material on top of that with shrink wrap. So let's change this from crystal to this chromium metal. Fantastic. Oop reselect that and we're going to check change the alpha type here to clip to relief they go really looking great now like ball bearings and now because we've clipped this from this modifier onwards we uh, I'm just going to change this blend mode here sorry to replace and then if I now turn on our 2d shadow and brighten up a bit we can see that we're shining that light through uh, the metal ball bearings or mercury droplets that we've created there and then there's light being able to cast from there so let's just go back to this shrink wrap modifier and just tweak these settings a little bit just going to bring up smoothness fantastic now you can see i can play with the luma height i'm going to really make that nice and big there we go and then whack dispersion up all the way here fantastic okay Great, so now we've got these sort of chromium metal or mercury droplets combining. We're now going to make it look a little bit uh, a little bit more creative and effective by changing some parameters with animations as they uh, bump into each other. Okay, we can get this really creative effect by altering the inset value on the mosaic modifier underneath the string wrap modifier. So if I bring this value down, this inset value down, what we're doing is we're making the gap between the tiles in the mosaic smaller. So you can see the gap there when they get affected by the shrink wrap also gets smaller. Maybe it'd be clearer if I turn off the shrink wrap here. And then you can see if I bring this down, the gap gets smaller. Let's set this back to where we were. I think we're about 34. And then at the same time, affected by the same animation that we're going to add, we're going to make the scale of the dots generated here larger. So if I bring this up, there we go. So we're going to sort of move this fader here automatically with a motion animation. Again, let's just set that back. And again, we can do this while the shrink wrap modifier is taking effect here. Bring this up and down and up and down. Okay, right. Let's go right back. Make sure everything's set back to where it was originally. Fantastic. So we add a motion effect by making sure we've got mosaic selected and then clicking the inset button here. We can either click uh, this button by the side of the inset or we can jump over here and add a motion effect. Either way, doesn't matter. And then if I change this oscillator to sine expo that's the same uh, wave shape used to move the AMB so we'll make sure everything matches up we're just going to set this down to 0 0.4 I'm going to also change this button here which changes how the motion effect affects the original value so if I set it to plus here the the value that I set in the animation will be added to the original value only. And then if I set this plus and minus, it will be added and then the same value subtracts. So you can see the wave shape here change around this zero access point. So I'm going to set that to plus and then I'm going to alter the inset value here and I'm going to bring this down, down by about 30, something like that. Great. And then now you should see and on the on the side here those gaps are getting smaller when those a and b join and then let's do the same with the luma scale again we're still in association mode here so if i drag any other effect it will be added into the same motion effect i'm going to drag this all the way up and there we go we can see that those gaps get smaller the dots get larger i'll just turn off the shrink wrap so we can see it more clearly there we go fantastic okay 
Now, um, there's also a really nice creative effect that we can put on top of the mosaic modifier that will give a rotation, a continuous rotation. And uh, it would be quite subtle to see, so I'll strip things back a bit to show you, but um, it'll sort of vary all of the refractions and the way that the metal uh, droplets look. So let's just, um, what I'll do is I will turn off the shrink wrap modifier and I'll just go and turn uh, all the motion effects off to make this really clear to see. So. Okay, so I've turned off all of the motion in the document now, and we're just, and we've also turned off the shrink wrap modifier. If I look at the mosaic modifier here, and then add a new motion effect by clicking rotate, I'm going to change this to a sawtooth wave type. And this means if we also set it to one rotation, we can get a continuous movement in the rotation. So I'll now set rotation up to 90. Okay, you can see that the dots from the mosaic are now continuously rotating because this sawtooth wave, we're doing one cycle, so it's going to make all the way up the line here and then start again. And that 90 degree gives us this continuous rotation. Now, so I've put shrink wrap back on top of this, you can see the effect that this will have that those droplets are continually changing and rotating. And again, if I go back, turn on all of the motion. There's the rotation in the characters. Here's the Y translation. Let's go back to mosaic and turn on the varying sizes. Okay, that is our final animation made in Modify. I hope you've been able to follow along. All the links will be in the bottom. Please, please let us know if you want to see anything in a bit more detail, if you want to know how to create a specific effect you've seen on the website. There are tons and tons of projects for you to learn from and remix on the website. Please like and subscribe. Let us know what you think and we'll see you next time. Thank you.